story of Little Mermaid Aria. Once upon a time, in the very deep ocean, there was a world that no one knew about. Dolphins would sing, jellyfish would dance, little colorful fish would swim, and in the deep waters was a glorious underwater kingdom. The sea people in this kingdom lived in peace with all the underwater creatures. It was ruled by King Poseidon, who loved his daughters so very much and always kept them in the kingdom. Arya was the youngest and did not understand why he never let her go anywhere. He told her there were dangers outside the kingdom's gates. She thought he must mean the men and creatures living on the land. Arya, someday you will be old enough to wear your own crown. But until then, you must stay here in the kingdom where it is safe. I forbid you to leave. But, but, I, I'm so curious about the people and animals on the land. The people on the land have no respect for the life in the sea. They throw trash in our ocean and we can't trust them. So you need to trust your father, Arya. Little Mermaid Arya did listen, but the more she thought about what her grandmother said, the more curious she became. I just cannot wait for my grown-up crown. The people living on the land might be just as kind as we are. And little Arya thought up a plan in order to sneak out of the underwater kingdom. She thought about her friends, Big Whale Willie and Little Dolphin Dolphy, because they could go in and out of the water kingdom whenever they wanted. At the gate to the underwater kingdom, the swordfish guards moved aside to let Dolphin Dolphy and Whale Willie out into the ocean. They were free to come and go as they wanted. But once they were out of sight, Whale Willie opened his mouth wide and out came his stowaway, the Little Mermaid, Aria. And just like that, Aria was out on her own and swam right up to the surface of the water. For the first time of her life, she felt the wind, saw the sunset, and heard the seagulls. This is an amazing feeling! Here's my whole deep blue sea Everything is fun, friends with me The king called me the little mermaid The very best daughter of the king of the sea Just look around, you will see the joy A beautiful life and the ocean roar Just then, Arya heard music coming from across the water. She dove into the water and swam towards the sound. Then she saw a huge boat and fireworks over it. A boat? Come, Dolphy, let's get a closer look. Arya, stop. It might be dangerous. <laughs> her friend Dolphy had warned her. But Arya didn't listen. Arya, stop! She swam up next to the boat where she could see the king of the land and his son, Prince Edward. They were celebrating the prince's birthday. A prince? Arya, he shouldn't be here. Those soldiers could be dangerous. We should go back home now. They might see us. The prince started playing his flute on the bow of the ship. He doesn't sound like a bad person. Arya sang along with the tune of the flute with her beautiful voice.
The prince heard her voice and looked around, surprised. Whose beautiful voice is this? Be careful, Arya. They're going to see you. Far, far away, King Poseidon's evil sister, the sea witch Vega, used to live in the palace of King Poseidon, but had done bad things and was banished from the beautiful underwater kingdom. The day has come. The daughter of King Poseidon and a human. I sent thunder and storm and lightning, waves to overturn the boat and sink the prince. <laughs> Because of the sea witch's spell, the waves began to break apart the prince's boat. No! The boat is sinking! We need to help them! Arya dove into the waves, swimming through the debris of the sinking ship all the way to the bottom of the ocean. She saw the flute of the prince and grabbed it. Then she saw the prince sinking to the sandy ocean floor. She took his hand and swam as fast as she could towards the land. Wake up! Please wake up! The prince slowly awakened and was shocked to be alive. You're alive! And to see a beautiful red-headed mermaid next to him. Arya heard a dog barking and realized she was on the land and quickly dove back into the sea. The king and his soldiers and a young lady were searching for the prince, hoping to find him on shore. A girl saved me. Father, I couldn't see her face, but I feel like I've heard that voice before. Meanwhile, back in the ocean, Arya returned to the underwater kingdom. She still had the prince's flute, and couldn't stop thinking about how handsome he was. Her father had been looking for her, and when he saw the flute, he knew that she had gone up to the surface of the ocean. I warned you, Arya, and you didn't listen to me and ran away from the safety of the kingdom. You should have waited. But the prince would have drowned. What? A prince? You left the protection of the kingdom, Arya. You must trust me so that I can protect you from danger. I forbid you to leave the underwater kingdom. King Poseidon left. He was upset and deeply worried about his daughter's heart. But Arya was still determined to return to see the prince again. And so she made a terrible mistake and left her father's kingdom again to seek out the evil witch Vega in the dark part of the ocean. Vega's two-headed guard snake was watchful around the witch's sea palace and saw the little mermaid coming. Vega, the king's daughter approaches. It's time to take revenge on the king. I knew this would happen. She has a wild, rebellious heart. Let her in, Snake. Arya was a little frightened, but wanted to see the prince, so she went in to ask the witch for help. Vega agreed to help, but demanded something valuable from the Little Mermaid. I will prepare a magical potion to turn you into a human. You will walk on the land and dance with your precious prince. But in return, I will take your beautiful voice. <laughs> my voice? I mean, but without my voice... Mermaid shrugged and accepted the evil potion because she was foolish and her heart wanted to fall in love with the prince. But remember, the magic potion will wear off in three days unless you get the prince to fall in love with you. Otherwise, you will change back into a mermaid and never remember your prince or your father ever again. <laughs> 
Arya was so foolish and drank the magic potion. Then she started swimming up to the surface of the sea. And as she got closer to land, her tail started to disappear. And instead, she had human legs. Her friend Dolphy saw her and quickly came to help her. Arya, you've never had legs. You need to be careful. Little Mermaid managed to get to the shore with the help of Dolphy. Prince Edward was already there, looking for the girl who had saved him. You seem familiar. Have we met each other before? Aria did not have a voice, so she just nodded and gave the flute back to the prince. Yes, we have met. You must be the girl who saved me from drowning. And that voice I heard while I was playing the flute on the deck, what is your name? Aria tried to explain what happened to her. Oh, you cannot talk? But she could not speak. So the prince decided that she must be a different girl, since the girl he remembered had a beautiful voice. Still, he wanted to help this desperate girl and took her to his palace. At the Land Kingdom's castle, the prince's father was preparing for his son's wedding to another young lady. Arya watched from far away and was sad that she could not marry the prince. The days passed and she could not talk to the prince. Arya knew the potion would wear off soon and she would lose all her memories. Arya thought it was impossible for her to make prince fall in love with her without her voice. Then the third day arrived. Arya was so sad. But just then, something unexpected happened. Her mermaid sisters came out of the sea, and then her grandmother. My dear grandchild, we have come to rescue you and break the witch's evil spell. Then the waves rose up in a giant splash, and Arya's father, King Poseidon, came out of the water. Arya, my beautiful daughter, you went to the very danger I was trying to protect you from, but I have rescued your voice in this seashell. I have broken the witch's spell, so you will have your voice, and you will always remember us. The king of the sea pointed his trident to the seashell in the hands of the grandmother, and the spell was broken. Her voice returned back to Arya. My voice? Thank you, my dear family. I love you so much. Ah, no! Whale Willie rushed the Little Mermaid to the prince's boat. The prince and a princess from another kingdom were about to be married. But suddenly, the prince heard something and stopped. It was Arya's beautiful voice again. After seeing Arya on the whale, Prince Edward jumped into the water to go speak with her. It was you. I knew it. You are the girl who saved me. My name is Arya. And so it was that Prince Edward called off the wedding and made peace with King Poseidon's ocean kingdom. Arya was the first mermaid who ever learned to live on land as a human and as a mermaid in the sea. And eventually, she and Prince Edward became friends and married and lived happily ever after.